everyone. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Carol. I'm so glad that you stopped by and I hope you will consider subscribing. Don't forget to like and share my videos and follow me on social media. I will leave all the links in the description box below. So today I have a delicious breakfast recipe for you. I don't have many of those on my channel, uh, but we are going to be using some of the things that we have in our home can pantry to make a delicious breakfast for Christmas morning. Actually, they would be fantastic for any morning, but I think that they are wonderful and just perfection for our upcoming holiday. You guys often ask me for ways to use our home canned goods. This is going to be the perfect way to use them. If you are not a canner, no worries, obviously you can still make these delicious apple butter pancakes. You probably have everything you need already on hand in your pantry. Things that we are gonna be using from our pantry to make these delicious apple butter pancakes, apple butter of course, I, and for all the things that I'm using for my home can pantry, I will leave iCards for you and also links in the description box if you need those. Um, but we're gonna be using some home canned apple butter. If you don't have home canned apple butter, no worries, you can just use apple butter from the grocery store. We're gonna be using some delicious maple walnut syrup, yum yum. We just canned this up just a few weeks ago. It is gonna be perfect for topping our pancakes. Now, if you are someone who likes stuffed pancakes or just a little extra jazz to your delicious morning breakfast, a couple other things that I found in my home can pantry that would work really well, but you can totally find these in your local grocery store if you're not a canner, some homemade apple pie filling and, and or uh, our vanilla cinnamon apples. Both are perfect for topping pancakes or waffles, and they would be fantastic paired with our apple butter pancakes. So those are other options for you. So you have four things from your home can pantry if you are a canner that you can use to make these delicious pancakes. Also know that if you are a waffle person instead of a pancake person, I will leave changes that you can make in the description box below so that you can use the same recipe with a few changes to make some delicious waffles instead. This recipe comes from the Ball Blue, Blue Book of Home Preserving. It is on page 172. Now, if you are a canner, make sure that you are checking your canning books or whatever uh, trusted resource you are using because oftentimes they will include recipes for using your home canned goods. And in the Ball Blue book, for sure enough, there's a section in the back of the book that has delicious ways of using your home canned uh, goods recipes from this book. So I'm gonna be using their recipe for apple butter pancakes. I'm making a few minor tweaks, nothing major, um, but that's where the recipe comes from. The other thing I wanna note is, you guys know, if you've hung around my channel much, you know that I love my cast iron. I don't cook my pancakes on cast iron though, because you have to use extra fat. I prefer not to do that. So I'm gonna be using a non-stick skillet and that is what I recommend for making pancakes. It just makes it easier and you can make them with less fat unless you have a wonderful cast iron skillet that is truly non-stick. I have one that I love, but it's not quite fully non-stick. Sometimes things stick a little bit, so I prefer the non-stick skillet for making pancakes. So I'm gonna bring you in close and we are going to mix up this delicious pancake batter. Okay guys, here we go. We are starting with one and two thirds cup of all purpose flour. To that we are going to add two tablespoons of sugar. We're also gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger, also a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to um, whisk that together. Okay, that is our dry ingredients. Now we're ready for our wet ingredients. I have one cup of milk. To that we are going to add one large egg, a half a cup of our delicious apple butter, two tablespoons of canola oil. If you prefer, you can use butter. I prefer the oil. I think it makes a nicer textured pancake. Butter obviously will add flavor and it works well. Melted butter will also work well here, but I prefer the canola oil or you can use whatever vegetable oil that you have on hand or whatever you like. And then we're also going to add about a couple of teaspoons of homemade vanilla extract. I also have a video on vanilla extract if you need it. We're going to give all that a little bit of a whisk. Okay, and now we are going to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. And then just gently whisk it together just until there's no more dry lumps. You don't want to overmix pancake batter. 
Okay, once your pancake batter is fully incorporated, like I said, you don't wanna overmix it, but you wanna make sure you don't have any dry flour um, in it either. So what we wanna do is we wanna let this sit while we preheat our pan. You get better pancakes if you let your batter rest for a bit, so that's why I mix it together and then I preheat my pan. Okay guys, here we go. I let my batter rest while my pan was heating up. It's good to go. I do, even though it is nonstick, I do spray a little bit of nonstick cooking spray in my pan and then just wipe it down with a paper towel just for extra insurance. So now we are going to ladle in some of our delicious batter. I did want to note that if you are going to make uh, stuffed pancakes, you might, might want to add a little more milk to your batter, make them a little bit thinner so they're not so thick when you stuff them. But this is the consistency that I like when I'm making just straight up pancakes. And what you want to do to make good, really good pancakes is you want to let them cook on one side until all your bubbles burst and it starts to look dry around the edges, then they are ready to flip. Okay, I tried to bring in just a little bit closer so that you could see, you can tell that my edges have started to dry and we have a nice bubbles here that are popping. So we're ready to give it a flip. Perfect pancake. How easy was that? I hope it gave you, those of you who struggle with pancakes, a few tips. The most important thing that you can do is let your batter rest, number one. And number two, cooking them properly, making sure that you're allowing your bubbles to burst in a little bit of dry edge, then they're ready to flip. Make sure you check the bottom. You don't want them browning too quickly, so you don't want your heat too high either. Um, so you gotta have a little bit of patience. They should take about two minutes per side for your pancakes to get done. With this recipe, because it has the apple butter in it, they do brown faster than a typical pancake, uh, regular pancake batter would. So they do have a nice brown caramel color to them, but look at that stack of homemade yumminess. So perfect for Christmas morning. And you can see that they are a little browner than most pancakes, but that's because of the apple butter that is in them and the sugars in the apple butter is caramelizing a little bit and doing it a little bit more quickly. So let's give one a taste do my favorite a little bit of butter and then I warmed that maple walnut syrup if you guys haven't tried that you need to give it a try give it a little bit of a drizzle onto our pancakes yum look at that so good who wouldn't want to eat that let's give it a try like I mentioned also, if you want to stuff these, I would make the batter a little thinner. Just add a little bit of extra milk, about a quarter of a cup extra. So you'd be adding one and a quarter cup of milk to them. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, you guys, those are so good. You can really taste the apple butter. Very decadent, very rich, so delicious. Perfect for Christmas morning. So I hope you will give it a try. Thanks for coming along with me. As always, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Have a great day, guys.